honestly the crazy thing about marketing is that making this video once i finished i really really wanted a monster what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about everything that we know involving double xp for call of duty black ops 4. so the first thing that i want to talk about and just get it out of the way is double xp weekends um these have been a thing for many call of duties in the past every call of duty gets a few um, or many double xp weekends whether it's a double multiplayer xp double zombies xp double weapon xp or all of the above um, there are many weekends where that's the case in call of duty world war ii's case they accidentally had double xp turned on at launch um, and i don't think that it was on purpose so it'll be interesting to see if that's the case for black ops 4 but regardless if you're looking for uh double xp and you know the game has been out for a couple of weeks or a month or two uh then just look out for those double xp weekends right now it is august 26th so we don't actually have the game yet so i'm just gonna be talking about some of the things that are going to be happening at launch so one easy way besides those weekends is to pre-order the game through walmart so Walmart actually has an exclusive partnership for Black Ops 4 where if you pre-order the game through Walmart you will get double XP now we don't really have any information about this just yet it's probably just going to be a code printed on your receipt when you pick the game up or maybe it'll be a sticker on the like cellophane wrap on the front that you peel off or something I'm not sure but regardless if you pre-order the game at Walmart you'll be getting the double XP codes exclusively through them I actually I just checked Walmart's website apparently you get two hours of double XP for pre-ordering the game through Walmart and it stacks up to 40 hours so you can only have 40 hours of double XP accumulated per account with Black Ops 4 and you can only have one hour of double XP per day which is interesting because that means at launch you can't stack up 40 hours of double XP and then have your first 40 hours just be double everything and just grind that game for a whole weekend um so it kind of like makes sure that people during that that first launch weekend don't go insane and level up like way quicker than everybody else that's a pro and a con to some people you know those who are doing like the race or the people who are really trying to level up as soon as the game comes out it's kind of a bummer uh, but for those of you who are more casual players then i guess it's kind of good but let's be honest if you're just casual then everybody's going to be out ranking you like crazy on launch weekend no matter what also if i sound funny uh it's because i am sick right now i was a little bit sick at work yesterday and uh, today i woke up even more sick even more congested so bear with me i know i sound probably a little bit off or or whatever the case might be and my thoughts might be all over the place because i'm a bit tired but regardless let's continue on the list less list list is many items in a row now an infamous way to get call of duty double xp is through the do and doritos promotion now this is actually a meme if you guys watch any of the meme lord meme compilation videos on youtube there's always you know the illuminati symbol shaped as a dorito and all this other stuff um because in the past i think with uh, call of duty modern warfare 3 and other call of duties in the past couple of years um, if you bought bags of Doritos or bottles and cans of Mountain Dew, you would get a certain amount of double XP time from a code that's either on the bag, under the cap, or in the box of, I think it was a 12 pack of Mountain Dew uh, cans, you would get like an hour or two of double XP. In recent years, they haven't actually been doing that with Mountain Dew and Doritos. Uh, last year, it was actually the Buffalo Wild Wings double XP promotion for Call of Duty World War II, and I don't think that promotion was very good uh, because I think Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings is a smaller company than Doritos uh, or Mountain Dew or anything like that I, I don't know I don't think I get a feeling that that promotion wasn't very well received because you had to spend you had to actually go and have lunch or dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings which is just more expensive than buying a can of or a, or a bottle of Mountain Dew or a bag of Doritos or whatever the case is so I don't know I don't think that's a very that wasn't very popular uh, you, you had to spend like $50 just to get the max amount of double XP at Buffalo Wild Wings so yeah i don't think a lot of people did that especially because you have to like go and sit down and eat you know whereas if you just buy a bottle of mountain dew you just bring it home and use the code right away 
So that was last year. Now in previous years, uh, we've seen the Monster Energy promotion. Now this was something that was leaked a week or two ago. Um, people were starting to post pictures of the Black Ops 4 promotion with Monster Energy. So that promotion is actually confirmed. And I have uh, an exclusive website that I'm going to be talking about in just a minute. So pictures have been surfacing these cans are actually now starting to show up in stores and in gas stations um, there are people who are posting on youtube and twitter with the actual can in hand um, but these cans at the moment don't actually have double xp codes on them so don't go out and start hoarding these cans just yet because they don't actually have any codes um, all they have is a little promotional picture on the back of call of duty black ops 4 similar to what they did with black ops 3. Now, I want to talk about that for a second because this is not the first time that Monster and Call of Duty have worked together. On Black Ops 3, the promotion was actually for Zombies Double XP. So, back in the day, back when Black Ops 3 came out, and if you bought a can of Monster Energy with the Black Ops 3 branding and promotion on it, you would get 15 minutes of Call of Duty Zombies Double XP. If you bought a four pack of Monster Energy, you would get 30 minutes per can. So it effectively doubles your double XP. Um, but that was for zombies only. Now with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, we actually got another Monster Energy promotion and this time it was for actual double XP in multiplayer. Uh, and the really cool thing about this was that it wasn't a time of um, a set number of minutes of double XP or a set number of games of double XP like it was with the Do It and Doritos promotions and other promotions in the past. What you would actually get is when you redeemed the codes on the back of the uh, pull tab on the can so you'd you know you'd crack the can open on the back of that piece of metal would be a little code uh, when you redeemed that online you would actually get a double XP token uh, and what you would do is go through and play a match and at the end of the game you would see how much experience you got and if you had any double XP tokens you could choose which games you wanted to double your experience for so that was a really great way to do it because then you actually could not you wouldn't waste it on games where you had bad connection or if you did really shitty or whatever the case might be you could save those double XP moments for the games where you really were pub stomping and you really maximized the amount of HP, uh, XP you could get uh, and those are the ones that you would use your double XP tokens on. Now with all of that being said, uh, I was doing a little bit of research on the history of double XP products when I was making this video uh, because I saw somebody on Twitter you know show the cans with the black ops 4 promotion and they were like okay it looks like we're going to be getting double xp and i thought that was interesting so i started to do a little bit of research and i found out that for call of duty infinite warfare in order to redeem the codes on the back of the um of back of the tab on the can you actually had to go to call of duty.com slash monster energy uh, and the cool thing is what i did was i went to that website and that website has been updated for call of duty black ops 4 even though the codes aren't showing up on the cans yet so i don't know if anybody has talked about this yet and this might not be a huge shocker um, but the fact that they are they have actually reused that website that specific website um, just with the new Call of Duty goes to show that we are getting double XP on these cans very very soon if you zoom in on the cans on the website on Call of Duty.com slash monster energy uh, you can actually see that it doesn't technically say double XP on the can at all at least from the section of the can that is shown in the screenshot so I just want to make that clear uh, that's why there's no codes on them yet because it doesn't actually the promotion hasn't technically started uh, they're just putting Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on the can starting to get the word out there so people know to look for them uh, probably in the next coming weeks we actually have the website is up and running at the moment if you go to call of duty.com forward slash monster energy you can actually log into your PSN Xbox live or whatever account you want to use it for uh, and it'll actually show the black ops 4 logo and have you you know ask you to put in the code um, that you would get from presumably these cans that you know don't yet have any codes on them so that's it guys that website is exclusive for people who are buying monster energy cans 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this a little bit more insightful than some of the other rumors going around, or if you just didn't know about maybe the history of double XP with Call of Duty, drop a thumbs up on the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, comment down below telling me what promotions you'd like to see in the future. Obviously, energy drinks are a pretty big industry for gaming to tap into. Um, you know, you had the Destiny 2 launch, had the Red Bull cans with um, I think Flame Sword was actually on them for Destiny 2. So, and of course, there's like Assassin's Creed on Monster, and Monster has done all sorts of uh, different promotions. But what would be a really cool promotion that you guys think that they should do in the future? I think them doing a promotion with G Fuel would be huge for the industry because a lot of the most popular people in the Call of Duty scene uh, are partnered with G Fuel, or they endorse G Fuel, or they drink G Fuel, uh, and it's just a really like special like product for the Call of Duty and the gamer scene in general. Um, um, and obviously Activision is just way bigger than G Fuel and they would really get nothing out of a G Fuel promotion um, like they would with like Monster or Red Bull or Doritos or Mountain Dew or whatever. But I think that'd be really cool if they did something special just for the guys over at G Fuel because you know, like I said, everybody in the COD community really enjoys G Fuel and G Fuel uh, kind of supports the Call of Duty community by sponsoring all of these professional COD players. So I think that'd be like a cool way for them to recognize and give back. I think another promotion that they could do would be to like cross promote with their own games. So like if you wanted to earn double XP tokens or codes or whatever, you would either have to play a lot of a certain like playlist in a previous Call of Duty game. Um, that would kind of like re reignite the interest in Call of Duty because while we wait for the, the new Call of Duty, we would have a special playlist that we could play on a previous call of duty to kind of boost the number of people playing it because right now nobody's really playing call of duty everybody's like on youtube even are is just using footage from like the betas and stuff like that um so it'd be really cool if they did like a special playlist um not only that but i don't know if you guys remember call of duty actually has a mobile game called call of duty heroes i think it came out with black ops 3 and it's kind of like a clash of clans ripoff where you like build up a base and you could choose your hero and all this other stuff and you would like invade other people's bases or whatever i don't know i haven't really played it um but like if they cross promote it with their own thing where like you know for a certain like amount of time leading up to the new call of duty release they did like a special thing for their own game so you could get more people playing your mobile game and say you know if you harvest enough of a certain you know whatever resource in the game or whatever if you win a certain number of like raids or battles or i don't know how, like i said i don't i haven't played the game uh too much but here it is on the app store um if you guys have seen it so yeah it'd be cool if they did like a cross promotion for that as well um because then it kind of like again it builds up the hype for call of duty um instead of just saying like oh go buy doritos so it's like you get you know you're walking around target or walmart or whatever and you see the bag and you're like oh yeah that's right call of duty's coming out soon like it's cool but it's not interactive you know so if you did something like in implementing double xp tokens that you can earn through playing call of duty or playing a mobile app or something like that um, i think that'd be really cool you know what promotions they should be doing though activision should team up with old spice or axe and honestly they should just put double xp codes on deodorant body wash body spray all that stuff because the past couple years every time i go to these midnight launch events for call of duty y'all smell terrible like some of you dudes are you smell awful honestly putting double xp codes on deodorant would be a great way to get the gaming community to stop smelling like trash anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace